Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago my brother got this small RC boat and it got me thinking, I wonder if we can print a better boat. This one was pretty slow and I thought that maybe with print the printer I could make something a little bit more exciting. So I had a look online at some jet sprint boats. These boats utilize a shallow hull as long as a jet drive propeller system to allow them to have fast acceleration and good maneuverability. The jet drive works with three main parts, the input, the pump and the reducer nozzle. The input allows water from under the boat to be sucked up towards the propeller. The, the propeller, or the pump, accelerates the water just like it would on a normal boat, however this time it's inside the boat. And the reducer nozzle it mounts behind the propeller to accelerate the water out. Think of it a little bit like a garden hose. A system like this produces less drag than a standard propeller and allows for much greater acceleration. We've also got to take into account steering, which needs to be done with a bucket or some kind of device mounted at the back of the reducer nozzle, as well as the, all the other electronics, such as the ESC, receiver, battery, motors, and water cooling lines. So, so far in my design, here's where I've reached. We have the boat modeled in Fusion 360. Currently my hull is a little bit of a shallow V, I might have to up it by a couple degrees. We've also got two side parts that are a little bit lower, I don't know the technical term, but it's helping stabilize the boat. You can see the input for the water underneath there. On the back you can see the reducer nozzle as well as the area in which the propeller will sit. If I cut it open. If we look inside, we will see some of the electronics. You can see the drive shaft and motors all mounted in, in the center of the boat, as well as the receiver and ESC mounted to the left side. All these parts need mounting brackets, which I'm yet to design, so that will come in the next update. On the other side, you can see the main issue we have right now is the battery which doesn't quite fit inside the boat, but I will come up with some solution for that shortly. On top of that, the servo motor and the steering system, which we talked about, also needs to be added to this, so that will also be in the next update. The entire boat is about 220 millimeters long. So I have all these parts already, which you can see here. These are all the electronics which you can see I've modelled here. I actually bought them all from um, from Gearbest online. And yeah, so hopefully within the next week or so I can have printed out this boat and have a working model which you can test. Apart from that, I've been updating my printer. I've had a couple issues with some of the parts. We had an extruder block as well as some bearings that needed changing. So I will update you all on those things shortly, but for now you can just have this little time lapse and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.